What's up beautiful people out there? This is Ashish Johan from Ashish Creation and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all of you guys are doing extremely well. Well guys, today in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a very bookcase for the manipulation just like Brandon Wolfil in Photoshop. But his own Instagram this kind of you know bookcase or the you know neon portraits are very much trending. So basically in this video we will learn such kind of editing very easily with the help of Photoshop. But before any further ado, let's jump to the video. Till then guys, be creative and be awesome. Just capture your photo in such a way that you are sitting on a bed or something like that. Now you can select the photo by using the quick selection tool and just right click on it and select the layer or copy option to make a duplication of the layer or you can press Ctrl J directly from the keyboard. Now we are gonna add the background so go to the file click on open and just browse the background. This background I'll be giving you from the links down given in the description so you can just download it for free from our website also. So here is our you know bookcase background of uh, you know cotton with fairy lights. So just drag it and drop over here. Press Ctrl T to enlarge the image. Now here I was remaining so let's select this I and press Ctrl J and just merge both the layers and again just drag and drop this image or the subject image to the photo or to the background. Go to the file click on edit and select the free transform and just place the subject in such a way that it should look more realistic and it is looking like you know and the subject is sitting on the bed so it should look like that so you can just adjust the perspective as per your wish now let's create new layer and just create a clipping mask and just paint the you know adjust of the image select the eraser and just you can erase it unwanted selection or something like that select the brush tool and you can paint the nearest color of the skin or just delete it unwanted area by using the pen tool by selecting that portion press ctrl a enter and just press delete to delete now just paint the nearest color by using the you know alt key to pick the nearest color and just paint it with the color of the skin. So finally here we have done this uh, you know making the painting the edges of the subject now you can let's do it on the hair region also by selecting the you know blackish brush or brownish brush on the hairs and just paint it with that color on the edges so that it may look more and more realistic so here we have almost done now just you can see the difference here is the before and here is after now just merge both the layers now blur the edges of the you know, model or the subject by using the blur tool because we want the subject to look more realistic so just do the blurring process on whole subject just on the edges so finally here we have completed our process of you know blurring the edges now it is looking more and more realistic Now the next thing we're gonna do is go to the filter, select the camera and let's reduce the highlights from the subject image. Let's increase some shadows and you can just play with this you know adjustment curves. Whatever is more suitable for you, you can just do it. I'm gonna wanna reduce the highlights and just make it a red color to kind of you know skin color to kind of you know 
gold color now i am gonna reduce uh, blue saturation aqua purple and green also because i want only the skin color to look so i'll just reduce all the saturation and only keep the you know red and orange you can just decrease the saturation of the orange color now you can see the difference it is looking you know very much perfect and very much you know, similar to that of the background so now let's add the you know first of all we are gonna add the cloud or the cotton on the image cotton cloud now just drag and drop over here now you are gonna change the color of this you know cotton cloud so just go to the first of all go select the adjustment layer from there you can select hue and saturation and click on the clipping mask or and select the colorize and just make the you know yellowish color of the you know cotton cloud now just merge both the layers right click on it and select merge layers now just press ctrl u and decrease some saturation from there go to edit select the free transform and enlarge the size of the you know cotton and you can just place it about uh, you know anywhere over the subject that it should not you know your leg should not be looking in the image so that is that's how you have to place that cotton balls or the cotton cloud in such a way by yourself press the ctrl j button to duplicate the same layer of the cotton cloud and just uh, flip it horizontal or vertical in whichever direction you want you can just keep it in short it should look more and more different <coughs> Now you can select the wrap tool to you know distort the cloud image or the you know perspective of the cloud now add a layer mask and select the brush tool and just select the black color Add on the layer mask and select the black color because we're gonna delete some of the you know unwanted portion from here. So again, they do the same thing on the below cloud also. Just delete it uh, by using the brush tool and by adding the layer mask. We're gonna reduce the lightness because it should be you know, matching with the background so we're gonna reduce the lightness by using the control U from the keyboard now we're gonna add the bokeh to the you know image so select the bokeh photo this background you can just download it from the links down given in the description now press control L from the keyboard and just make it more and more dark until your you know photo becomes a perfect black just drag and drop over here now we're gonna reduce some of the size of the bokeh photo duplicate the image by pressing ctrl j or duplicate the layer now change the blending mode to screen press ctrl t to decrease the size because we wanna keep this bokeh in our cotton cloud so just place it somewhere over here that it should look like you know original fairy lights so you can just place it somewhere over here and reduce the saturation of this bokeh because we want a white perfect bokeh series so we are gonna reduce the saturation of that now again duplicate the same image by pressing ctrl j and just place it below the cloud and just keep it somewhere over here it should look like in a random bookcase like structure so you can just place it somewhere anywhere over here again press ctrl j and just place above the subject or the you know, cotton layer 
now we gotta reduce or the erase some unwanted bokeh from here because we want only a limited amount of you know bokeh light so just reduce some of the opacity from here and now finally we gonna add some kind of you know falling particles so let's just uh, first of all we gonna just may add some more bokeh on the uh, you know big bokeh on the image so just place it on the side portion of the screen so, so that it may look like you know original bokehs are present or the fairy lights is present on the image now we're gonna do the same thing just decrease the saturation of 2 minus 0 so that it may look you know more and more realistic and just place it somewhere over here you can erase it some unwanted bokeh if you don't want Now just merge all the layers, right click on it and save, uh, by pressing the shift key and just merge all the layers and again let's just crop once again. Now we're gonna go to the filter, select the camera. Before getting to the, you know, adding the camera filter, we're gonna, you know, make it more and more and we're gonna add the, you know, falling particles. Let's select this preset and just hit OK. And you can still do some more correction over here by increasing the contrast or decreasing it a little bit and reducing the highlights. Increase some kind of you no know, shadows to in order to get more details on the black region. Reduce some kind of you know whiteness from the image and add some blackness or reduce the blackness from the image now let's increase some clarity a little bit if you want and just hit ok so here we have completed our process of you know adding the filter now we gonna you know add some kind of you know dust press ctrl z from the keyboard to undo that thing now go to the file click on open and just you know add some kind of you know falling snow particles or the you know cotton balls particles over here just drag and drop over here go to the edit select the free transform and just place it rotate horizontal or vertical and just you know flip it and change the blending mode to screen now it is looking very much perfect you know you can just flip it if you want so just right click on it and select the flip horizontal now it is looking very much perfect and you know kind of you know very perfect theme for your you know it is looking like you know the cotton balls or the cotton dust is you know falling down from the pillow Now go to the file, click on open and let's add some more dust particles, just drag it and drop over here. Change the blending mode to screen. <coughs> and you can see the difference, it is looking very much perfect and amazing. Now just delete, delete some unwanted particles by using the eraser tool from the face region because our face should look more clear so it is very much necessary to remove that particles from the face now you can see the difference it is looking very much amazing now just merge over all the layers and just go to directly the you know crop once again 
go to the filter and select diagonally the camera filter so it will select automatically the before adjustment so you can see the difference is looking very very amazing so i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just press the like button and if you still not subscribed to our channel then kindly do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashurecreations.com from there you can download new backgrounds, new camera preset, new lightroom preset, new mobile lightroom preset, new loots to color grade your photos as well as videos, other cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. So go and check it out that website and also guys we are gonna launch our second website that is www.filterpreset.com soon. On that website also we are gonna launch soon the premium collection of you know, presets in the form of mobile lightroom, pc lightroom and many more stuff. So stay tuned on that website also it will take some time to upload content over there also guys follow me on instagram just type ashwir creations so you can see the difference guys here is the before and here is the after you can see the difference it is looking very very amazing guys this would be the perfect photo for your instagram feed if you want a unique theme you can just try this kind of you know editing in your portfolio of instagram so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after it is really looking very much mesmerizing <coughs> This is a unique you know theme for your you know if you if you are planning to make a bouquet of fairy lights photo manipulation then this one is the you know unique theme for your Instagram uploads. So well, guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome.